El Paso fire officials say two 13 year olds are now in custody and have been charged with arson. Fire marshals say the two teens intentionally started a fire at a vacant apartment complex in South Central El Paso. That fire happened on October 1st at the apartments on the 300 block of Eucalyptus Street next to Douglas Elementary School. And that's exactly where we find ABC7 Sam Harris with the very latest. Sam. Rosemary, behind me were the apartments that were up in flames more than two months ago. Now, in that information that we received from the El Paso Fire Department earlier today, those two teens now facing charges are in the custody of the county's juvenile probation department. What you're seeing now is video that ABC7 was able to capture from the scene when that fire broke out on October 1st of this year. You can see how intense of an emergency response there was that day with dozens of firefighters at the scene. The information we received from the fire department says the two teenage suspects were taken into custody back on Monday of this week, December 11th. A spokesperson from the El Paso Fire Department told me how this fire may have started. So apparently was used inside of the building. Uh, it could have been uh, some kind of fuel. So it, it seems it was intentional. It was not somebody that was trying to stay warm because it was not found like, a, like some kind of cooking devices or anything like that. It was fuel, so that's why they determined that it was intentional. Upon there, they started investigating, interviewing witnesses, and checking also with the El Paso Police, uh, the, the El Paso Independent School District Police Department. I also was able to speak to a nearby resident in this area of South Central El Paso. She told me what she saw, heard, and smelled when that fire broke out just over two months ago. We also got a statement from the Housing Authority, and they're the ones that are leading the renovations on the Salazar Park Memorial Apartments because these are vacant now, and they're being worked on by the city and the city's Housing Authority. We'll bring all of that coming up on ABC 7 at 6. For now, reporting live in South Central El Paso, I'm Sam Harris-Samowitz, ABC 7. Sam, thank you.